Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, received at Qadabia Palace today the President of the National Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, in the attendance of the Ministers of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Matawa, along with senior officials. During the meeting, the Deputy Premier received a copy of the National Audit Office's annual report for the year 2018 to 2019 which was conducted independently with the goal of improving the government's performance financially and administratively and ensuring that accountability and transparency measures are applied as per international standards and Bahrain's legal code. In this regard, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed explained the mechanism through which the report was conducted. The Deputy Premier, for his part, accepted the report and expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the National Audit Office. Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Premier as well for receiving him and affirmed that the National Audit Office will continue to carry out its responsibilities as per the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh chaired today the weekly meeting where he approved the forming of the Response Committee following the Royal Speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding the membership of 12 members of the Council. 12 Shura members were selected to form the committee to respond to the Royal Speech and refer to His Majesty the King, led by the first Deputy Chairman of the Council, Jamal Fakhro. The committee aims to form a response that achieves the legislative aspirations of the Kingdom and the visions of His Majesty the King. The Shura Council's members approved the final formulation of the permanent committees and recommended four members to represent the Council in the Executive Committee of the Parliamentary Division and elected a Chairman and a Vice-Chairman of the committees by consensus among the members of each committee separately. Today witnessed the launch of the Diplomatic and Culture Conference at the Bahrain National Theatre in the presence of the Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, CEO of the Mohammed bin Mubarak Academy for Diplomatic Studies, as well as a number of experts and media figures. The General Manager at BACA, Sheikh Ahala bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, said the conference is an opportunity to gather the youth and ensure their cultures as a supporter of diplomatic work and a means to communicate with the world. She added that the conference gathers influential figures that the youth can listen to and be inspired by the successful stories. The conference sheds light on a number of topics in diplomacy and culture through sessions that influential figures participate in from the Kingdom and outside the Kingdom. The Foreign Minister, BACA President and the World Heritage Advisor at the Culture Authority, Dr. Meneer Bishad Nagy, participated in a session on culture and international relations. In an opening session, Dr. Shakira Minir bin Khalifa Al Khalifa said that the culture and diplomacy can enhance national identity and create strategic relations with other countries. The Foreign Minister expressed thanks to the BACA President for her cooperation and keenness to hold this conference and her efforts in preserving the historical heritage of the Kingdom. He affirmed that culture is an important door to establish diplomatic relations with other countries. Sheikh Ameh expressed thanks to the Foreign Minister for his constant support to culture in the Kingdom. She added that the Kingdom was able to enhance its status on a global level through its culture and win the presidency of the International Heritage Committee two years in a row, in addition to international recognition. Dr Minia Bishnagi said that Bahrain earned international recognition through its cultural roots and that Bahrain has been hosting the Arab Regional Centre for International Heritage since 2012 under the UNESCO supervision. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, today delivered a statement on behalf of the Arab Group and the Maldives at the 100th meeting of the Development Committee on the sidelines of the annual meetings of the Board of Governors of the World Bank Group, the WBG, and the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, in Washington, D.C. Sheikh Salman highlighted the importance of the job creation in order to achieve the WBG's goals of ending poverty and promoting prosperity adding that job creation is vital to the success of any social and economic programme aimed at achieving comprehensive development. Sheikh Salman welcomed the WBG's Jobs and Economic Transformation JET, initiative, noting the importance of aligning its concepts with efforts to further develop the business environment. He also stressed the importance of supporting private investment in education in order to provide quality opportunities. 
The Minister stated that the JET initiative could play a positive role in transforming the development of the MENA region by improving job creation and alleviating youth unemployment. In this regard, he noted that various studies show that the MENA region will need to create nearly 300 million jobs by 2050 in order to meet demographic pressures, stressing the importance of promoting vocational, educational, training and lifelong learning. On behalf of the Arab group in Maldives, Sheikh Salman hailed WBG's support for job creation agenda, highlighting the WBG's ambitious new approach and developed policies intended to create millions of quality opportunities for the region's young people. The Minister stressed that the region is in need of a comprehensive strategy to further develop its markets through a policy reform and strengthening of institutions. Sheikh Salman added that comprehensive development is not in itself sufficient to create jobs, noting that equal opportunity, limiting restrictions on labour mobility and increasing investments in health and education sectors are also important for regional growth. Later, the Development Committee stated that the growth of the world economy is still unbalanced and vulnerable to risks that have been recently intensified. The committee further highlighted the vital role of the global value chains, GVCs, in world trade in supporting economic development, creating jobs and promoting sustainable development. It also noted the importance of investing in human capital to ensure that all individuals are equipped with the skills and abilities to adapt to advancements in technology. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, yesterday met with the Vice President and Secretary of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, Sudani Alexander, on the sidelines of the Minister's participation in the annual meeting of the Boards of Governors of the World Bank Group and the International Monetary Fund in Washington, D.C. During the meeting, Sheikh Salman highlighted the Kingdom's unique business environment, which has a pivotal impact on economic position and its ability to attract international investment. The Minister noted that the continued growth of the Kingdom's economy reflects the country's solid diversification efforts. Sheikh Salman and Sir Alexander further reviewed the latest financial developments of the world economy. The Bahrain delegation headed by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, concluded its participation in the annual meetings of the Board of Governors of the International Monetary Fund, the IMF and the World Bank, which were held on the 14th to 20th of October 2019 in Washington, D.C. The participation of the Bahrain delegation comes as part of Bahrain's efforts towards discussing world affairs and to exchange points of views on major economic matters through international forums, through which the delegation presented Bahrain's achievements in the economy, as well as in matters related to the empowerment of Bahraini women. The delegation also participated in the marginal meetings of the annual meetings of the Board of Governors of the IMF and the World Bank, along with delegations from other countries. The delegation included the Minister of Finance and National Economy, as well as the President of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid Al Maraj, and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani, President of Bahrain Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamid Al Khalifa, along with other officials. The Ambassador of Bahrain to the United States and the founder of the Mahan program, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, congratulated the Minister of Interior. General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the occasion of the programme's winning the award, expressing gratitude to the Minister for his unlimited support and directives that contributed to gaining the award and reaching the global level. The Capital Governor, the President of the Programme's Committee, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, also congratulated the Minister of Interior on the honourable achievement which reflects and recognises the outstanding professional performance of Mahan Programme's team. He also congratulated Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid on the occasion commending the role of the programme's organisers for their professionalism and dedication. The anti-violence and anti-addiction programme, Mahan Together, received two awards in the Stevie Awards competition held in the Austrian capital, Vienna. The awards received by Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid and Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman.